Number seven by William Sidney Gibson. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Number seven. Every one knows with how many things, divine as well as human, the number seven is connected. It occurs in sacred scripture and ecclesiastical ordinance no less than in Asiatic superstitions. It is recognised in works of our illustrious Wickham, and also in Grecian architecture. It pervades the authentic history of nations as well as their fable and romance. And in Europe as well as in the East, a mysterious significance appears to belong to it. To begin with a rough glance at the use of seven. Looking first at its occurrence in the scriptures and in ordinances of the Catholic Church, we have the sevenfold gifts of the Holy Spirit, the seven sentences of our Lord, and the seven clauses of his prayer. The representation by St. John in his Apocalypse of the wonderful being who dwells in celestial grandeur as walking in the midst of seven golden lamps which are churches we are warned against the seven deadly sins and exhorted to the seven principal virtues and the seven works of mercy to the traditional merit of this holy number the ordinance of seven sacraments has ever been attributed and the articles of faith in relation to the trinity were in a synod held at york in fourteen hundred and sixty six arranged into seven, as were those relating to the nature of our Lord. The Church, moreover, recites the seven penitential psalms, and observes the seven hours or offices of daily prayer. The schoolmen in the Middle Ages were fond of speculating on the mystical influence of the number seven, the number of perfection and of tracing its connection with most of the events set forth in the sacred books from the mighty work of creation recorded in genesis in which god was believed to have employed seven angels down to the seven years service of jacob for his wives it is that number says leon battista alberti in which the almighty himself the maker of all things takes particular delight but to pass from things sublime to things sublunary the ancient connection of the number seven with architecture might alone form the topic of a small essay solomon writes wisdom hath built her house she hath hewn out her seven pillars and gentiles as well as jews seem to have had a community of ideas with respect to this number it is found in the two most remarkable temples of Grecian antiquity, viz. the cellar of the Parthenon, which is supported by seven pillars on either side, and the colossal temple of Jupiter Olympius at Agrigentum, which is adorned with seven columns on the east and west, and fourteen on the sides. Wickham, in the plans of his chapels at Winchester and Oxford, divided them longitudinally by seven in other english architecture older as well as later the number seven constantly recurs for example in the cathedral churches of york durham lichfield exeter and bristol the abbey church of westminster the churches of romsey waltham bildwas and st albans in the norman part at castle acre and at st george's windsor it prevailed especially in france as we may find in the cathedral churches of paris amiens chartres evreux etc then to turn from the substantial monuments of medieval time to the fabulous theories of asiatic speculation we have the cycles of seven thousand years seen by the mysterious persian bird or griffin simurg who according to eastern romance had lived to see the earth seven times filled with animated beings and seven times a perfect void and who predicted that the race of adam would endure for seven thousand years and then give place to beings of more perfect nature with whom the earth would end 
the hindus reverence the mysterious names of the seven worlds amongst this remarkable people the creator shines with seven rays he is light or the effulgent power who is held to be manifest in the solar orb and to pervade or illumine the seven worlds or abodes the seven mansions of all created beings the earth is held in hindu belief the first or lowest of these then there is the world of renewed existence in which beings passed from earth exist again but without sensation until the end of the present order of things heaven or the upper world the abode of the good the middle world an intermediate region the world of birth where the inhabitants of the existing globe who shall be destroyed at its conflagration will be born again the mansion of the blessed and finally the seventh world the sublime abode the residence of brahma himself the number seven enters also into one of the hindu modes of trial by ordeal seven leaves of each of three kinds of herbs being fastened on the hands of the accused with seven threads the seven sacred evolutions of the moslems round the black stone of mecca is another example and the last we shall give of the connection of this mysterious number with the superstitions of asia then as affecting human life the old physicians and philosophers held that every period of seven years effected an alteration in the human system thus the period of infancy was fixed at seven years and there was another septennian of boyhood the prevailing notion of the climacteric years was founded on the same tenet and thence also we derive the seven ages of man there are the seven senses and we have lately seen discussed the superstition connected with a seventh son among the romans infants who died before attaining the seven month of their age had not the ordinary rites of sepulture so in some parts of the east children who die under seven years are not mourned by their parents the ancients boasted as we all know the seven wonders of the world and in modern ages we hear of the seven wonders of dauphine and the seven wonders of wales in the great isle of arran may still be seen the grave of the seven romans which bears an inscription of remote saxon antiquity and in the town of selbeloich there were the seven streets inhabited by strangers another of the marvels of ireland was the changing of sundry irish natives into wolves every seven years according to Geraldus. In legendary lore and tales of enchantments, the number seven occurs prominently. The realities of manhood have not obliterated what we used to read about a service to a giant or a fairy for seven years, and a spell that was to endure for seven years, like the seven years' sleep of the beauty in the fairy tale, and St. Patrick's memorable banishment of the reptiles and demons for seven years, seven months, and seven days both ancient and modern fable adorned their annals with seven sleepers and chivalry and romance furnished christendom with seven champions we might go on to trace the occurrence of the number seven in classical writings and roman story it has however come down to modern times in many of our own usages and familiar things besides the nomenclature of the seven days of the week derived from the seven known planets in this country seven years is in many particulars a significant period of time we serve seven years apprenticeship elect parliament for seven years punish by seven years transportation and take seven years leases of property finally in music there are familiar instances of its prevalence there were seven notes in the greek diatonic scale the choruses of Aeschylus and Sophocles were divided into lines of seven syllables, and for strophe and antistrophe there were seven alternate singers. But what is the meaning of all this dwelling on the number seven? It is not the only number upon which a run is made, though perhaps the chief. Each number had with the Pythagoreans a meaning, and among them seven was a sacred number, 
as it had been considered from the earliest times they call it a number of perfection because it is composed of three and four the triangle and square by triangle and square all things they said were capable of being measured therefore the number that included both in its significance was the number of perfection of fitness quantity diversity it was also the number of life because it contains body and soul body being of four elements soul of three powers rational irascible and concupiscible it is because seven is the number of perfection said old commentators that we are told to forgive our enemies seventy times seven times that is to say most perfectly although pythagoras dwelt on the number seven it was to a certain extent a mystical and consecrated number even before his time it was dwelt upon by homer and hesiod the egyptians according to the belief that there were seven planets made a sevenfold division of the heavens and of sacred things it is indeed to the rest from creation on the seventh day that all these ideas of the sacred number are to be traced back because of its frequent occurrence in the scriptures saint augustine and luther taught that the number must be considered really sacred having explained so much we will dwell a little more upon its frequency first as to its apparent consecration to the jews as when the seventh day was declared holy seven days were appointed for the consecration of the high priest seven victims were appointed for many sacrifices there were seven lamps to the golden candlestick afterwards there were seven churches of the christians seven times the blood of the sin offering was sprinkled oil was sprinkled on the altar seven times at the consecration of aaron not only was every seventh day a sabbath but seven other days in every year were to be kept equally holy there were seven days of eating unfermented bread seven weeks between passover and pentecost every seventh year was a year of rest and after every seven times seven a jubilee most of the great feasts of the jews occurred in the seventh month as a number of completeness and sufficiency it is used often a lamb must have been seven days with its dam before it could be sacrificed seven days the lord waited before sending the flood seven days noah waited between each time of sending out the dove jacob served seven years for rachel there were seven years of plenty and seven years of scarcity in egypt samson was bound with seven bands on the seventh day when seven priests blew seven trumpets and went seven times about the walls of jericho the town was taken it is the number also of power a majority seven spirits are before the throne harmonious in their influence on man as the seven notes in music the beast sought power with seven heads rome on the seven hills had seven kings seven times jacob bowed before his brother esau it is also the number of purification as when naaman washed seven times in jordan such illustrations might be almost infinitely multiplied man as we before said was assumed to grow by sevens they were arranged thus after the first seven months the first teeth come after the first seven years they fall and others come in place of them after the second seven years puberty comes after the third comes perfect womanhood and manhood we say therefore to this day in england when three times seven years are complete at twenty-one a person is of age during this third seven years he has been increasing in length during the fourth seven years he grows no more in length but increases in breadth and completes the definition of his perfect shape during the fifth seven years the man perfect in form is perfected in vigour and during the sixth period of seven years retains his powers unabated in the seventh period of seven years prudence is perfected and thus during the period expressed by seven times seven 
man is at his completest finally when we come to ten times seven at which ends the multiplication by the simple numbers man has attained the appointed number of his days threescore and ten any quantity of paper might in fact easily be covered with illustrations of the wonderful significance of seven there need to be reckoned seven liberal arts seven mechanical arts and seven prohibited arts it was said there are seven colours as we still say seven metals as we cease to say gold silver copper lead tin iron and quicksilver seven holes in a man's head two to the nose two to the ears two to the eyes one to the mouth but of the seven capital sins in journalism boring a reader is the greatest End of number seven by William Sidney Gibson. Read by Ruth Golding.